no plans, no plans at all Evil man's always transcending Fight her like sheep, swallow everything Always simple tins or pretending We got no plans This is your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net A comedian in Italy, Beppe Grillo has had a huge impact on the elections there and is now considered a viable presidential candidate. And perhaps the most amazing part is that most people aren't even shocked by this because we have now reached a point where people are turning to comedy and comedians for their truth. Every politician we listen to or news anchor we turn on is just spraying a steady stream of liaria out of their face holes and it just coats you until it's dripping off you and you're like, stop it, make it stop. But it doesn't, it doesn't stop. It just keeps pouring on like, like the wet cement on the head of a mafia snitch. And once you're frozen into a statue of dried bullshit, they look at you and they say, now, don't forget to vote on Tuesday. So people are now getting their news from The Daily Show or Colbert, The Onion, or Bill Maher, or God forbid, sometimes even me. Welcome to the funeral of the mainstream media. If you want to cry, feel free, because this is fucking sad. We are literally at a point where if your average man was at a state fair and on one side of him was a politician and on the other side of him was a clown, he would turn to the clown and say, Tell me how it really is, because this guy over here is full of crap. So here's 15 hugely important things that are not disputable and that you will nearly never hear on the mainstream corporate-owned media. Number one, America is funding both sides of the war in Afghanistan. Number two, there's a massive prison industrial complex in this country that makes money from caging human beings. Number three, there are 900 U.S. military bases around the world. Number four, most koala bears look snugly, but they have chlamydia. Number five, the federal Federal Reserve is privately owned and the owners make lots of money from it. Number six, Romney's top 20 donors and Obama's top 20 donors are nearly the same list of corporations. Number seven, the U.S. has only 5% of the world's population and yet holds 25% of the world's prisoners. Number eight, factory farming is the most horrific thing you could ever witness and if you step inside of one, you'll immediately vomit harder than the girl from Poltergeist watching Newt Gingrich have sex with a key lime pie. Number nine, following the BP oil spill, there have been essentially zero new regulations, policies, or cleanup procedures enacted. It will happen again, and the oil companies just view it as the cost of doing business. Number 10, if Isaac Newton's parents had had access to Ritalin, Isaac Newton would have been a humorless bricklayer, and you would only know his name because after people take a dump, they would sometimes say the expression, I just dropped a load of Newtons. Ironically, it would still have something to do with gravity. Number 11, climate change is very real and is happening more quickly than we thought and corporations are already gambling on which areas will end up underwater and which new areas will become lovely beachfront property. Number 12, roughly a quarter of a million black children go missing in the U.S. every year. Unfortunately, they aren't newsworthy. Number 13, top hedge fund managers make more in an hour than a middle class household makes in a half a fucking century. Number 14, the amount of funding from four days of the war in Afghanistan could completely wipe out the deficit of a city like Detroit. Imagine what it could do for many of the smaller bankrupt U.S. cities. Now imagine how much the funding from every day in Afghanistan could do for our country. Number 15, to prepare for her role as Margaret Thatcher, Meryl Streep would snort a line of powdered dolphin every morning. That last one I made up. The rest are true. Well, the, the, the Isaac Newton one is hypothetical, but the rest are true. And this list is just scratching the surface. Welcome to the funeral of the mainstream media. If you want to cry, feel free, because this is fucking sad. That's your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net. I bet you have your own list of things the mainstream media won't cover. You can email them to me at LeeCampMail at gmail.com or tweet them at LeeCamp with the hashtag RIP Mainstream Media. If I get a bunch of good ones, I'll make a follow-up video with your suggestions. Thanks. Keep fighting. Plans, no plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight her like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretend.